What's up, everybody? This is Technoblast. Thank you for tuning in. And back on Monday, March 25th, 2019, PlayStation had their first show to showcase some games called State of Play. And I'm always up for a good gaming show. I want to see what the newest and latest and greatest games are coming out. Um, no matter no matter the platform, I'm always I'm always up for watching these type of shows. But this one, I don't know, it just didn't do it for me. Mainly because it was a VR fest. Um, I'm not interested in VR. It's cool, but I'm not rushing out to get the PSVR system. It's just I'm just not. Even the, with the game they showcased, uh, it did not make me feel tingly and wanting to rush out and get the system. Uh, two games that I did like, it was Observation Iron Man. And like I said, I like those two games that I did see, but it's not enough for me to say, you know what, that's it, I'm gonna spend $300 on that, on that uh, part of the system because I wanna play these two games. That's just, it's just I'm not. Um, but who was this the show for? Was it for the PS4 fans or the 1% who owns the PSVR system? Because they're, in reality, they didn't sell that many. They keep bragging they sold, what, four, six million or so? And look how long it's been out in the market already. So, no, it's just, I don't, I, we don't know who this show was for. It just seems to me that their first show was a VR fest and looks like they're really trying to push VR as the next big thing and it you know you've seen the articles out there you've seen others try it some have failed some are still sticking around um, but it's it's not catching on yet maybe in a few years but right now nobody's interested in VR and you can tell just by the numbers like I said, I'm not going to rush out and get the system over two games or say I did like all the games that they showcased. And it still didn't sell me on it. I'm not going to rush out and get the system because they dedicated a whole show to VR games. Like I said, there's only two that really interest me, but I'm not, I'm not going to open my wallet for those two for those two games and the system. Now, one of the biggest jokers that I saw online, Greg Miller, uh, you guys know him as Game Over Greg, which I think he's the biggest idiot that ever lived, called it, called this show a mini E3. You gotta be kidding. It wasn't even close. And they're talking, he's, you know, talking and um, calling it a mini E3. He should should have seen the reaction. I mean, it was just it was priceless because people just shut him down. It was just an idiotic comment to make, and with that, you're gonna get some responses, especially people mocking him because that was an idiotic comment. I don't know, guys. To me, it was a total letdown. I expected more because it's Sony. Everybody loves Sony, right? They can't do anything wrong. They're saints. So whatever they come out with, it's supposed to be the best. And this first state of play uh, show was not the best. It was pretty bad, in my opinion, because I know I'm going to get reactions where people are like, oh, no, it was a great show. No, it was pretty terrible. And some of you need to accept that it was a terrible show. Uh, so you guys tell me, what do you think about the show? Did you like what they were showcasing? Did you not like it? I want to hear it down in the comment section. I always love to hear what you guys have to say. And until then, take no blast out.